The Mammoth Shell Cracker Plant in Beaver County has had a number of problems since it began operating last year. People living nearby have been complaining of odors, flares, and noise. So what does this new lawsuit mean to the people of Beaver County? Here's KDK investigator Andy Sheehan. Odors, flaring, and the release of dangerous chemicals. These are all cited in a federal lawsuit filed against Shell over its operation here at the Beaver County Cracker Plant. In its short span of operations, the multi-billion dollar Shell Cracker Plant has been beset with problems. Excessive flaring due to reported malfunctions, odors from a discharge of sewage, and citations by state environmental regulators for repeated air permit exceedances. The whole area has changed with smells, with light pollution, with noise pollution. Now two environmental groups, the Environmental Integrity Project and the Clean Air Council, have sued the oil giant in federal court here, calling for strict penalties and specifically a halt to the release of VOCs, volatile organic compounds, which are known to deplete the ozone and are associated with global warming. If the plant can't meet its air permit requirements, my question is, why should it be operating? Shell voluntarily suspended operations last month, and in a statement says it will remain so until the problems are fixed. Quote, Shell remains committed to the health and well-being of its employees and the surrounding community. The Shell Polymers Manaka plant is temporarily shut down, and we are continuing to work rapidly to improve facilities and operations to address these issues in conjunction with the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. Shell also cited the complexities of starting up an operation this big and says it is already fixing its problems with flaring, which has alarmed those living nearby. One of the things that really freaked everybody out was this whole sky was orange. And uh, they're like, what's going on here? Are we safe? And then you have the light bouncing off of the clouds. And there's people that live up here that complain that that light is so bright that it goes right through their curtains. You'd like to see it shut down permanently? I'll just say that the emissions have encroached on residential lives in ways that were not expected. Though a permanent shutdown is very unlikely, operations continue to be suspended here and will be for the better part of this year, as Shell tries to work out the kinks in the cracker. Reporting in Beaver County, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.